Rick, just how did you see the veterans kind of respond in practice uh, yesterday from that second They were half? good. You know, they, again, they were good. And I, I never, you know, what I just tell them all the time is that how hard these guys work and our guys work hard. Every game's an opportunity to go out and put that hard work to, to use and do what you do. And I mean, that's why you play the game. And, and I do realize, you know, you have games like you can have mentally where you may might not have what you want to have every day, but uh, uh, it happens. But like you said, the main thing is how do you respond afterwards? And I thought they did a good job yesterday. Jim, just got the same, same question for the young kids. You, know, you didn't play on Saturday. What was the message and then the response like that you saw Tuesday night? I thought they were they were good in, in terms of, and I told the older guy that, I said, you know what, you owe it to those young guys to give them a chance to get some, a, a, a sustained run out there and let them know what it's like to really have to play hard for two and a half, three, four minutes, uh, trying to take care of every detail that we talk about. But I do think the, the freshmen are starting to really give a, a much harder effort in practice, which again, that's the growth you would expect. And they've, they've got to continue to do that because I, I, I believe it in my whole heart that at some point in time we're going to need them all at some time, and I think all of them can help us win some games going down the road. To scout on DJ Burns. Well, DJ can score. We, we knew that when we recruited him, and uh, a guy that, uh, you know, he's got a really a soft touch around the basket. He can shoot the ball from really out to 15 feet, and uh, obviously uh, he'll work hard to get his space where he wants it, and he'll get it. You know, outside around the three-point line, if he needs to, he'll kind of crab dribble back down there to get to his position. I think he really understands where he's effective on the court, and he tries hard to get there. In what ways is he similar to who he was when he was here? In what ways is he different? You know, I, I think the biggest thing when we recruited DJ, and you know, wonderful family. You know, and DJ came in at a time when you know our our big deal with him was to you know to get him in great shape and. Uh, but in terms of his game, I think what he's doing is what we thought he would be able to do. And um, but that's uh, and he's you think about uh, once he's left here, he did a good job at Winthrop, and he's now at, at NC State playing. I think the most minutes he's ever played. I think he's playing around 28 minutes a game, which is great. I think obviously that's how much Coach Keats wants him on the court. And uh, but he's worked hard to get himself to that position. Harped on consistency and the need for it a lot. Just how much is the lack of consistency just a constant in college basketball as a whole? Well, I think it is. A, a, I mean, you look around some of the scores over the last couple of weeks, and and, you, and obviously the portal has changed a lot. But still, this time of year is a difficult time for these guys. Uh, not just here, but everywhere. They're finishing up exams, and uh, they're they've got a lot on their plate. And then you travel. Uh, you go back to not only what they have to do to finish the semester, but it's what they've missed up to this point, the time they're away through the tournaments in, in uh, late November. And, and so uh, they're probably playing catch up and, and uh, trying to not only make up for some past work, and I think it happens all around college basketball. I really do. And, and, uh, and with that said, we're still trying to get them to do what we would like to see done on the court, sometimes with less time. But uh, th this is, a really a tough time of year for him. Coach, what do you need, what do you need to see from Freddie for him to be a guy that gets regular minutes? Continue to, uh, again, I thought he really went in uh, and played hard the other night. And Fr Freddie's no different than the other young guys. Uh, it's a matter of understanding just how hard you got to play and, and how valuable every possession is and, and understanding what we're trying to get done as a team. And, and he, I think he is making strides. I thought he had a good day again yesterday. And, but his effort, uh, along with the other freshmen, are, are getting better and better. And, and it's just the fact that they don't know what they don't know when they get here. They don't. They can't understand it. Uh, you know, during the summer, pickup games, there's not a lot of intensity. Then once you start going on a foreign trip, it's not a great deal of intensity. Then you, you come back, and once official practice starts, the older guys know what it's about. They've been through it. These guys have. They haven't been through what they've gone through the last two months. So. Uh, uh, as they continue to adapt to it and adjust to it, and, and it's part of the learning process. And as long as they'll stay with a positive attitude, it'll turn out it'll turn out good for them. What, how, how many freshmen during your career that you can remember or, or thereabouts have have understood that? How have come in understanding pretty quickly how hard it is you have to play? It's hard for all of them. It really is. I mean, 
So much of it too is you know where they're where they're coming from, where they've been, uh, level of competition, uh, all all that. Uh, some um, you know it's, it's maybe they're in their DNA, maybe it's not, but I I think that's something that everybody can get to. Uh, like I, I I'll use Cade for example. We had no idea that he would be able to do some of the things that he's done. You know, as much as you try to evaluate it and see it, it's just that some. Some guys see it differently. Some some guys are able to see it earlier and pick up on it. Some guys are willing to uh, watch uh, what's going on around them. I think sometimes when players start looking outside the program and that say, "Well, I played against this guy. He's playing more here, or there, all that." I think that is when it probably becomes a problem because you know every situation is different. Every team's different. Uh, every team plays a different style. But I think it's overall it's, it's a big jump. It's a really really big jump from uh, high school to, to this level and it's an even much bigger jump where they want to go after this level. It's a much bigger jump. So it's this process, it's a step by step uh, that they have to learn how to take you know, really one step at a time and, and keep growing and keep building. What do you like about what Freddie did without the ball in his hands against Georgia Southern? That's what, again, that's something that I thought was, I was really good. And what we tried to do the other night, we tried to you know, keep those young guys out there early with the older guys, so they didn't. Uh, so they had guys with them that, again, they know what it's about. And uh, he went in, and I thought I thought Freddie did. I thought he ran hard. I thought he really tried to defend. And I think uh, all of them would tell you uh, the hardest thing is catching that second win. I mean, when they come out of the game, they're winded, and that's something that's part of it. Knowing that uh, they can they can fight through it. It's like you know, you hit the wall. You've got to. Either going to stop or you're going to, you know, t sl you know, slack off. Whatever it is, that's where you've got to be mentally tough enough to fight through it and know that uh, that you can do it. And because certainly they can do far more than they think they can. Coach, how important is this kind of year when you you played, you know, 10, 10, 11, 12 games? You know, school's out. It's, it's, you kind of have a boot camp. How important is it that you make some steps, get better these next two or three weeks? Well, I tell you what's hard is, is the campus has changed too. It's not just uh, what we've done with, uh, you know, the, what's going on here with every student academically, but now, you know, everybody, everyone that goes home, the, the vibration you have on campus is different. Everything's different over these next couple of weeks. And this is the longest, uh, coming up, the longest Christmas break I think I've ever had in my lifetime. I don't think I've ever had five days of Christmas. And uh, so it's different. But with that said, Rob, I, I don't, whether it's this time of year or whether we get into the first, second week of conference season, you've got to get better. And uh, because the teams are going, there's going to be some teams out there that maybe right in the middle that's going to take off, some that you think are pretty good, it might fall backwards. It's all about the, the approach every single day and knowing that um, you've got a job to do is taking care of the details, it's, it's coming to practice with the right mindset. And I will say this, it goes back to uh, leadership with those guys from within what they have to do. That's, that's, and that's what I told the team the other night after the game. I, I just wasn't real happy with, and, I don't, and they weren't either. They weren't either with the way they played. Uh, uh, even first half we were scoring, but they, you look at the first half, we weren't as locked in as you, you probably thought we were because we were scoring points, but we were making mistakes defensively that uh, we shouldn't, shouldn't be making. And, but that's part of it, and uh, you learn from it and, and uh, move forward. Anything else? All right, thanks, folks. Thanks, yeah, Coach. Thank you, guys. Thank you.